What should you look for when you're considering a fax server? Well, there's certain features I consider very, very critical. One of them is to be able to save faxes to a network share. That's, that's to me, a no-brainer. should have that capability. Uh, the ability to integrate with Microsoft Office applications, that should be built into the uh, fax server. The ability to send and receive faxes as easy as you can in email, and even using your <coughs> having access to your, your uh, Outlook contact database, I think that's real critical to have that capability. The ability to route faxes to uh, uh, to other users in the network via email uh, or or based on uh, their email address based on <coughs> uh, what we call um, CID routing uh, or um, uh, let's see there's another form of routing um, DID which stands for direct inward dial and that is well that's where everybody in the organization has their own unique fax number uh, so based on the last four digits of their unique fax number when that that fax comes in, it kind of looks it up in a like a, a table and says, ah, that number gets routed to this email address. Uh, and that that is, I to me, you should have that capability as well. So you want not only a, a robust system beginning, but you want to be able for it to grow rather easily. The ability to cope uh, with uh, fax over IP, the ability to work with uh, uh, digital fax boards, high quality boards, high quality analog boards. These are important. Um, there's other features that might be, you know, a little fluff, like uh, possibly OCR. Maybe not, uh, depending on your application. But I don't think it's the most part a deal breaker. But OCR should be on there. The ability to do fax broadcasting. Um, Man, that's you got to have that. Uh, that's a great way to get a message out to maybe your suppliers or your vendors, uh, your customers, that sort of thing. Now, I'm not talking about junk faxes, and I want I want to say that you definitely do not want to ever, ever, ever use your fax server for junk faxing. Um, but the ability to do fax broadcasting. Uh, what we call production faxing, which is, uh, I think, a feature. If you have a standard set of documents that you deal with with clients uh, on a routine basis, uh, the ability to package, do those up as a fax package and have those uh, easily selectable by your, uh, uh, your staff and being able to send those out, I think that's real big as well. Uh, <coughs> to me, the ability to integrate with your in an active directory and your exchange server uh, is also a very, very important feature to be looking at. So uh, to kind of recap, integration with Active Directory Exchange Server, the ability to do fax broadcasting, robust fax routing. Uh, I didn't mention uh, cover sheets, but the ability to have customized cover sheets either based on a departmental level or an individual level. Um, the ability to handle uh, DID, uh, quality uh, fax boards such as digital fax cards or analog fax boards, high quality boards. Um, also, you know, a requirement, the ability to archive faxes to a shared directory, uh, the ability to integrate with Microsoft Office applications, uh, possibly be able to really use the fax software on the client side, like a printer, uh, the print to fax feature. Uh, very, very, very important. Um, as well as the Outlook integration. So these are the things I think are just super, super important when you're talking about uh, getting a fax server. So let's stop right here.